let's learn our 2 times table. So 0 times 2 is 0, 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, so here I have 2 groups of 2 blocks, 3 times 2 is 6, so now I have 3 groups of 2 blocks, 4 times 2 is 8, 5 times 2 is 10, 6 times 2 is 12, 7 times 2 is 14, 8 times 2 is 16, 9 times 2 is 18, and 10 times 2 is 20. So now I have 10 groups of 2 blocks, and that gives me 20. So now we're going to practice counting up in steps of 2, and we're going to count really quickly, so try to keep up if you can, and don't worry if you can't. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Now knowing how to count up in twos is useful because it means we can count 2p coins. So if we have 0p we don't have any money, 2p, 4p, 6p, 8p, 10p, 12p, 14p, 16p, 18p, and 20p. Or we can count two pound coins. So let's count two pound, four pounds, six pounds, eight pounds, ten pounds, twelve pounds, fourteen pounds, sixteen pounds, eighteen pounds, and twenty pounds. So now we're going to keep on practicing counting up in steps of two, so counting in our two times table. And this time we're going to count on a hundred square. So count with me if you can. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. 18, 20. Now, I'm sure you can spot the pattern here. And if we carry on counting in steps of two, so at adding two each time, if we were to do that, here's what our number line, sorry, our hundred square, would look like. So you know that if the units digit of a number is a two, four, six, eight, or zero, then you have what we call a multiple of 2. So let's do some practice questions. If we want to know 4 times 2, we can count up in 2 4 times. So 2, 4, 6, 8. And now I can see that I have 4 groups of 2. So my answer is 8. Now for 7 times 2, what are we going to do? We need to count up in 2 7 times. So pause the video and see if you can work out the answer to 7 times 2. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six, seven groups of two, or I've made seven jumps on my number line. So seven times two is 14. Now pause the video and see if you can quickly answer three times two. So we have two, four, six, and I've counted in steps of two three times, so three times two is six.